Go ahead. Hello, this is Family Adventures featuring four crazy kids. Today we are going, for the next five days, we are going to do a scavenger hunt that our church has set up for all the kids. And we're look and each day that we participate, we're doing five CrossFit bucks, which are um, fake money that we get to buy items at the church on a day called Shop Day. All right, what day is it? The first day of the scavenger hunt. And you are looking up... Matthew 5. Matthew 5, we're going to look up... The verse that says, You are the light of the world, and a town on a hill cannot be hidden. Alright. Ready, you guys? Can I say it? Can I say it? Do you guys want to do it as like a sword drill? Uh -huh. Can I say it? Can I say it? Alright, go for it. Swords up, pages to heaven, elbow straight. One, two, three, charge! Found it! Alright, just stay right there, Con. Oh, okay. By the way, I already looked up the verse, so... You cheated! Found it! I'm pretty sure Lucas did, too. Found it. All right. In the count of three, I want you guys to all yell out what it where it's at. One, two, three. Matthew five fourteen. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. You guys want you want to say it, Isabel? Go ahead. All right. You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. What do you think that means? Does anybody want to answer? Luke, it's okay? That you, um, uh, that if you are a Christian, you are safe and you can't be, and you can't be hidden by Christ because Christ can see anything. Can I go for it? Yeah, go for it, Isabel. Um, it means that no one can hide from God and that the light of the world, like, when you go to heaven, there will be no lights and no lamps, but only God will be your light. Or could you be the light of the world? Like, you are an example to other people? Mm -hmm. Like, um, let it shine. Yeah, you are, you are an example, and you need to let that the love that's shown in you and what God's done for you and the fact that you believe in God, to show you need to show it to other people. Do you think that's what it could be about? Yes. Alright. Good job, kiddos. This is day two of the scavenger hunt. Alright. For today, I need everybody to, on their pieces of paper, write one, two, three, and four. Like, in the line or in, like, one? Yeah, like that. Ready? All right, for number one, I want you to write what the first book of the Bible is. I don't know how to spell it. All right, that's fine. You can look at your Bible. I don't know how to spell it either. Is it, I, is it G, E, N? I don't look at your Bible. Look in your Bible, honey. Oh, yeah. All right. Now for number two, what is the last book of the Bible? Ready. 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 
All right, so what is the first book of the Bible? Genesis. Genesis. What's the last book of the Bible? Revelation. All right, for number three, how many books are there in the Old Testament? Okay. Huh. This is harder than I thought. Did I say the Old or New Testament? Old. Okay. Do you know that answer? I'm pretty sure it is. Alright. What do you guys think it is? 39. Alright, good job. How many books are there in the New Testament for number four? No, but just stay there. All right, how many books are in the New Testament? Twenty-seven. Good job, kiddos. Well, you may want to recount, buddy. What is it, Isabel? 76. 66. 66. Good job, buddy, Sorry, babies. Go ahead. This is day three of the scavenger hunt. All right. Today, you guys are going to be looking up the chapter four of the first of First Timothy, and you have to fill in the blanks. There you go. No, guys. it. Grab your guys' pieces of paper. Yes, but you also need to grab the piece of paper I just handed you. No, I have it right here. Sure. Fine, Connor, don't do it. It's fine. Swords up, fade is to heaven, elbow straight, three, two, one, charge. All right, who would like to read it? Go ahead, Isabel. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. First Timothy 4.12. What do you think that means? I think it means since children are young that we don't want anyone to look down on us or to think we can't do something. We, you can't let people think that? Can't let people think that, but instead you should step up and um, put an example to the believers. You put example. You have an example. You be an example. Be an, yes. Be an example when you when you believe, when you talk, when you conduct, when you love, when you have faith, and when you have purity. Okay. It's conduct and. What did we learn about different translations? That they don't always fit the descriptions. They're okay. they're worded differently, aren't they? Yeah. And what translation is this one? Is this? NIV. NIV. Good job, children. Mine was really close to it, but mine was a N I R V. This is day four of our scavenger hunt. Uh, the last day. <laughs> All right, today you are going to fill in the missing. Words from Genesis one twenty seven. That'd be easy. I'm going to go over here.
Where is Genesis at? In the beginning of the Bible. All right, Isab Isabel is going to read Genesis 127. Genesis 127. God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them, male and female. He created them. Genesis 127. Good job, guys. This is day five of our scavenger hunt, the last day. Today... It says, Happy Hunting, Friday, April 3. Use your Bible to find the chapter and verses of Jesus walking on water in the book of John. So did you little kitties find it? Yep. Yep. Do you find it in the book of Mark? No. no. Matthew? No. Um Genesis? No. Where is it at? John 6, 19. 19. They rowed about three or four miles. Then they saw Jesus coming toward the boat. He was walking on water. Ooh. Yeah, I, I have more to mine. Me too. Be cuter. Be cuter. Thank you for watching. Happy adventures. See you later. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification to get videos. Bye. Bye bye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Now control this way. Yes, that would be me. <laughs> and there's the craziest child of all.